Chain of causality. In our explanations on all the video clips, we made extensive use of the chain of causality. For example, when we discussed the monetary transmission mechanism, we said a decrease in the interest rate leads to an increase in investment, leads to an increase in aggregate demand, and the increase in ag aggregate demand leads to an increase in income and the price level. The chain of causality. But it doesn't explain anything. And in the exam, you will be asked to explain. So just dotting this down does not explain anything. You have to write it out in full sentences. Assume a decrease in the interest rate. A decrease will, in interest rate will lead to an increase in investment spending and so on and so on. So you write it out in full sentences. You can use the chain of causality there on the exam paper as a crypt note. Just write it down to check yourself. And when you use the chain of causality, it's important to note that it's a chain of events. The one leads to the next. If I ask you to explain to me the road from Pretoria to Durban, you'd say, okay, you go from Pretoria and you pass um, Alberton and then Heidelberg and you get to Harry Smith and then Peter Marisburg and then you reach Durban. So there's a certain chain towns you have to pass. If you leave out one, say for instance, if you say go from Pretoria and then Heidelberg and then Harry Smith, in other words, if you leave out Alberton, you would still be able to reach Durban. That's fine. That's not a crisis. But what would cause problems if you, if you change the order of events? In other words, if you tell me, well, to get to Durban, you go from Pretoria to Harry Smith, and then Alberton, and then Peter Marisburg, and then Harrowburg. Ah, it's obvious, you won't reach Durban. So, if you change the order of events, the chain of causality breaks down. And then you won't get any marks. Even though you mentioned all the correct towns, if they're not in the correct order, you won't get any marks. If you leave out a town, that's okay. Then we can just mark on because we will still reach the destination. So use the chain of causality as a crypt note. But when you ask to explain the monetary transmission mechanism or fiscal policy or any of those, write it out in full sentences.